Hello everyone, Silvermoon here with another episode of Let's Play Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. Now actually this is a special episode I promised you guys. I had someone order Wham Shell and lo well, lo and behold, guess who I got? <laughs> yep, came in like a week after I got all of the a week after I got the after I got the last episode done. Now M Shell is a water skylander, so he has the ability to go on the water, though he is a bit slow at first. A button attack is a mace. B button attack shoots these missile things. Or I think they're starfish or something, but I'm not sure. But I will be cutting back here once I get him nice and leveled up because watching me level up from level 1 to level 7 even with the additional experience boost would be a real pain but I'll just sh maybe cut to showing him in combat for the first time then cutting to when he's like a similar level to the rest of my skylanders so see you in a moment okay guys I'm back and I am at chapter 5 of course and let's see what Wham Shell can do. He's a bit slow at moving around. No, I don't need to see what this guy's spell function is. So he does a pretty nice chunk of damage with his A button attack. Of course, let's get the experience so he can level up. And of course, I want to show his level up animation on screen. I mean, it just wouldn't feel complete without it. Skip, of course. Let's try his B button attack. Nice, range, and level up. All right, so now I will Skyland, return to when I have Wham Shell leveled zone. up, upgraded, etc. That sort of stuff, you know. See you guys in a few moments. Just one thing to say about this: lol, glitched out barrel. Anyways, back to your regularly scheduled skip. Okay, back at Darkwater Cove again to show. Oh, hey! Okay, I. To show you just how much an upgraded Wham Shell does. I've already upgraded him to level 7, of course. To open the gate. So let's get to some enemies that I can mow down with Wham Shell. Because apparently, from what I've heard in reviews, he's a bit overpowered. I've already upgraded him to it, one of his higher level maces, so that's the up and damage and he moves pretty nicely you gain the ability to charge up the starfish attack and you get that Z button attack which creates an electric field yeah so it's pretty good he is pretty good of course, there is one more thing you unlock by getting Wham Shell that I would like to show. Well, but then again, maybe I should show, since this is a relatively short episode. Oh, I need to show something else off. See how he rides his base in the water? Shooting your, off your B button attack actually shoots starfish behind you. And it allows you to go faster for short bursts. Oh, yeah, all right, I think I've, I've shown this off en enough. All right, so let's... Of course, there is another... For the path I chose, anyway, there is, an, there is a com different combo attack upgrade which allows you to Skylanders of course the AABAAC thing for, di for different sorts of attacks
But yeah, I use the later levels to grind up on on experience and treasure. Awesome, see? Yeah, I could see him being overpowered, especially if you upgrade his critical hit. And his super upgrade increases his armor, which I'm pretty sure is already great, because he's basically a crustacean a crab. Hmm. But yeah, wasn't that ba little barrel glitch funny? I mean, I never saw anything like that before. Maybe it occurred on my videos before, but I did not notice it. And push this beam in place. Of course, we've seen this puzzle already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Granite, granite throwing gun. Rotate. And web shells level eight. So on that note, I think it's time to go back to the route to the return to the ruins and show off the last thing that you unlock by getting by adding Wham Shell to your collection. Besides getting all 32 Skylanders, getting all four Water Skylanders for elemental power bonus, you also dragon. unlock just to keep with continuity's sake. I'll use Drobot. <laughs> Because, like all Skylanders, by adding dr oh, Wham Shell to your team, you unlock a brand new heroic challenge. Back for more training, eh? Well, step right up then. Hopefully, it's not one of those really difficult ones. Up, oh, challenge 24, Charm Hunt. Head for the islands and collect 75 charms. Reward critical hit. So, yeah. That's the only heroic challenge I have yet to show on the screen. So let's do it! Again, I'd like to thank my friend, um, the special hidden dragon. We could also call it Pirate Island because it's filled with those jerks too. So I'd like to thank my friend, um, David, for securing Ramshell for me. Too worked over by the pirates. Oh, and if you can swim, you might have a little. Dragon fly. Three, two, one. Your speed and agility are great, but I can fly! That's a thumbs up if you can get that reference, but... This is where Hover comes in handy, because you can actually control where you're going. Nothing more over here, so let's go over here. Drobot with all the upgrades. Overpowered except during the final battle of chaos. Halfway Already there. halfway there. And I have still two minutes left. Awesome. That was good. Of course, I don't know why I'm going for the experience, since Drobot's already level 10, which is the max for this game. Yeah, you can't get past level... The Skylanders Giants actually raise, is the only thing that raises the level cap from... You've almost made it. Almost made it, alright. And I'm almost done with recording this game. So, I guess it's... You guys are gonna have... I think you guys are gonna... Might, like really like one more Heroic completed complete. awesome job. first try plus five critical hit way to go you just aced one tough heroic challenge now not only will hmm. you get some does he, she power, say something if you but also my own personal thumbs up 
wonder if she says if you have our all heroic challenges beaten with one Skylander. I don't know. Now so nothing special? special hidden dragon treasure. But heroics is at 32. That's the highest you can get it for any character because there are 32 heroic challenges, obviously. And it also gets you an accolade. Lead agent. Wow, one of your Skylanders has completed all 32 heroic challenges. That was no easy task. So there are only two other accolades. Earning a three star rank on all Skyland Adventure chapters. And earning all of the Pearl Master accolades. So all I have to do is earn three stars on every chapter and I will have it. But that's not all there is. Because according to what I've seen on videos, there is an extra little achievement for Xbox Live and PSN users for beating Chaos using only one Skylander without dying. I uh, know how you'd manage that with how... because you guys all know how difficult I found it. But with that, I'm going to say goodbye to Skylanders for now. Will I do Giants? Who knows? If I can get the figures as cheap and the game cheap, I might. Otherwise, I don't think I will. So until my next project, which I will be recording tomorrow, well, Tuesday, as of just to avoid confusion, this is Silver and saying, see you next time, and have a wonderful time around.